All right, welcome. Thank you. Uh, it seems a lot of my students are having trouble with, and a lot of you guys are having trouble with uh, even and odd functions. So what I want to do is I want to go over one more kind of uh, representation to go and uh, see if you can really kind of put to bed how to determine if a function is even or odd. Uh, one thing we looked at, and you know, now we're kind of coming at the end of the chapter, and we've talked about even and odd functions uh, as a graphical representation and an algebraic representation. Well, to remind you of the graphical component, a graph is even when, when it is symmetrical about the y-axis. So therefore, a general quadratic equation, y is equal to x squared, that is an even function because down this line of symmetry, if the right side, if you were to kind of fold this over uh, to my left, to the left side, you'd see it'd be exactly the same. So therefore, it is symmetrical. Uh, so therefore, I'm sorry, not it is symmetrical about the y-axis, so therefore it's even. The other way is an odd function. We talked about our cubic, which would be y equals x cubed. That is an odd function. And the reason why is, if you were to flip it over the x-axis, so if I was to flip this down here, so let's see here, and look, um, like that, and then this would flip up to here. All right, if you first flip it around the x and then flip it around the y, so now this comes over there and this comes there, what you would see is again, it would be the exact same graph. So therefore, this is odd. Now, one last thing I want to remind you is when we're dealing with um, x's and y's, as far as sy symmetry, one thing we talked about was transformations. And when you had f of x equal to negative f of x, what we had was um, we had a reflection about the x-axis. And then when we had an f, let's see if I have any more room, and when we had f of negative x, I'm sorry, f of x equal f of negative x, what that gave us was a reflection about the y-axis. So what you guys can see is there's two different reflections about the y-axis and about the x-axis. And what we're going to do is we're going to talk about, uh, when I go through this, this is a very important part right here. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to leave this on here. When I show my algebraic ways, hopefully that will let you guys see what's happening. So let's remember that when it's even, it's symmetrical about the y, and when it's odd, it's symmetrical about the y and the x, or a lot of times what we would call the origin. So let's do, let's do the test. So when we're looking at an algebraic equation or function, what we're going to do to test it is we want to test the y symmetry. So what we'll do is we'll see is it symmetrical with the y-axis. So we're going to evaluate our function for f of negative x. So a big misconception that I get from a lot of students is, oh, the exponent's 4, so therefore it's automatically even. That's not always going to be the case. And I don't have an example. This one's wrong. It's actually x. I don't have an example um, for this problem, but we can... Uh, I can easily go ahead and you know, put one together. We can show you it's not always just the exponent, all right? So first of all, and I'll show you in these couple of why, does, why this is not odd and why, or why these two are not both odd, even though they both have odd exponents. So here, uh, any number, any number multiplied by itself, even amount of times, is always going to be positive if it's negative or positive. So therefore, negative x to the fourth power is just going to give me a positive to the four plus x. Now. Remember we talked about symmetry. If the right side is symmetrical with the left side, then it was even. Well here, if I, when I do plug in negative x, which tells me I'm really checking the reflection of the y-axis, if that's giving me back the original function, then I have an even equation, or an even function. Which in this case, x plus 1 is the same as x plus 1, so it's even. On this problem, again, let's te test first the y, or the, the y symmetry. So I'm going to plug in the negative x. Now, 
Now, when I have a negative number cubed, that's going to give me a negative x cubed plus 1. Now, this is not the same as my original function. So it is not symmetrical about the y. But let's go and see if it's symmetrical about the x, just because. So what I can do is, um, a lot of times, you know, you can multiply by negative 1, or a lot of times what we like to do is write it so we factor out that negative 1 to see if we get f of x. So if I factor out a negative 1, I'm left with a positive x cubed minus 1. Again, we do not have our original function. So therefore, this is not odd nor even. All right? And then on my last example, again, let's test the y symmetry. Any number raised to a third, any number raised to an odd power is still going to be uh, whatever its original sign was. So that's negative x cubed plus negative x. Is it symmetrical about the y? Well, not at this point is it apparently as symmetrical about the y. But um, when I go ahead and factor out my negative one, I'm left with x cubed plus x. Therefore, I get back my original function. So actually, this graph is symmetrical about the x-axis, and it's actually symmetrical about the y-axis. So therefore, this function is i. So hopefully that might help you guys out. That's a little bit better, um, another overview of how to determine when functions are even and i.